Welcome back to the top anime list of all time. We're at number 44. We're getting to the nitty gritty, guys. And there's not a lot of animes that are really underground on this list anymore. Except for a couple. And this one's on the ground. It's called No Rin. No Rin is an anime where the main character is pretty much... The main character... Is a school idol, and she get and she's depressed, and she wants to learn how to smile again. So she goes to a farm, you know, of a countryside where there's no, there's nothing, there's just countryside. There. Everyone's a country bumpkin, pretty much. Um, the only reason why she goes there is because one of her fans, I don't know why the fuck you would do this to a person, but of uh, one of her, one of her fans keep bringing her food. To the countryside and it's vegetables that they grow because they're all farmers. They're all school kids and they're all in school and they're all farmers at the same time. They always have to deal with crazy shit. The funny thing is, is the fact that there are five main characters that you really need to know about. The guy, his best friend, the main character is having a love triangle, which I think I believe he knows, he tries to date both and he... Gets them both, I believe so. I'm not too sure about, it, but that's just my opinion. Um, there's only 12 episodes. You decide it. It kind of leaves on um uh, like on um uh, on a psych note, but that's beside the point. Okay, okay, that's rule one. The school idol is in love with him, and she wants to be. She knows pretty much everything that he t told her in the freaking letters. But the funny thing is, is the fact the other girl who's in love with him. She wrote the fucking letters and stuff her, but they still love each other. That's the main reason why this anime does not get higher on the list. Because of the fact that even though she knows that he was not the one who wrote the letters, she still falls in love with him, and that makes no fucking sense, okay? That's the only gripe I have about the story, okay? That's rule A. Rule B, um... His childhood friend has a crush on him. Now she has mass she has big boobs, um, which is kind of fucking ridiculous, I say the least. But it's the thing. Um, you learn about farming. Um, pretty much that's what pretty much those three. Now the other two characters are in love with each other. A girl with bigger boobs, who has a crush on the main character's best friend, who he goes to study abroad for farming because his brother. Likes to do it, likes to work at a grocery store where everything's artificial. And that's the main issue with that problem. Because he can sell more and he, the product gets more pre-produced. Because he's doing more machining, machinery than, you know, doing a hand, hand. So that's the main side plot to that issue. Um, the w thing is, is that those two characters, the girl with the big boobs, the bigger boobs... And the guy that she likes, which is the guy's main character's best friend, they are not seen until the final scene in the last episode. They are not seen in episode 10. They leave on episode 10, I believe, or 10, or they leave on episode 9, and they're not seen until the final scene. So the last two episodes are just the three people in the an main character of the anime. Okay? Okay. Now then, um... This anime is really fucking good, and the main reason why it's so high up on the list is because it taught me how to, it teaches you how to farm, um, handmade style, um, not m machines or anything like that, like, hard work with manpower, like, human power, like, people, like, working in the farm, like, like, you try to plant rice down on the water, Without machines, you do it hand, and that's why I like about this anime. It teaches you what the stuff that farmers have to go through every single day. It's really fucking interesting. Um, now, why is it not higher on the list? Well, that and the fact that um, there's this one scene where a bunch of fucking guys in the classroom decide to have an argument about which is better, big boobs or big little boobs. Uh, what the fuck am I watching? I have no fucking idea. Um, so that's why it's not higher on the list. Um, um, so yeah, there's a lot of perverted stuff in this anime. Um, so yeah, it's Japan. What do you expect? But 
I put this high on the list because I like the farmer aspect of it, and it's really fucking good. There's a lot of comedy comedies put in there. It doesn't get really too serious until the very end, where his um uh, one of his relatives, the main character's relatives, wants him to get married. So he decides to marry both of them, I believe. But that I'm going by that assumption because there's only 12 episodes. And the other reason why it's not in the top, in the top 30s or in the, at least the 30s is because of the fact that, um, let me just say this, this anime has its issues. Um, let me just say this. It's really interesting on an anime that leaves on a cliffhanger. But because of the fact that it gave me more respect towards an anime where I can respect something, gives me high praise. So that's why I like about it. It's used, usually when it comes to animes in the sticks, where the main theme is in the sticks, it kind of like, you know, this, that, and the other thing. That's why when we, when we did Trigun, that's why Trigun was so high up on the list, like in the 90s or something, because it was in the West. I'm not a big fan of West scenery. This was in the sticks, and usually when it comes to the sticks, the only anime genre that I like about the sticks is horror. Higarashi, which we'll get to at some point. I know that for a fact. But Ren, No Ren is an anime where a, a pop idol goes to the sticks to meet the fan that she falls in love with and pretty much lives there because she likes the sticks. But the main reason why in the fucking, um, uh, fucking, um, uh, what's his face called? His dad and mom left him and stuff. I don't really fucking care about the main character because he's not really that important. It's just a love triangle. That's pretty much it. Um, which I don't know why the fuck you could just have two. I've seen animes that do that. I've seen fucking... I don't know why he doesn't marry both of the girls. I mean, seriously. Her, his childhood friend and the idol because they both love him. So why don't you just marry all both of them? Because Conception had the fucking main character marry 11 fucking girls. Which makes no fucking sense. I don't fucking get logic of anime, man. It makes no fucking sense. But I wish there was more episodes... But even if there was more episodes, I'll probably still put number 44 because it does its job at this expanding and stuff. But to be honest with you, I thought that it was... There's a lot of stuff that you don't quite understand about the main plot and the fact that it leaves off a cliffhanger, which pisses me the fuck off. But to be frankly honest with you, I think it deserves to be on the list because you will have respect towards farmers. Especially when it comes to a guy who's never farmed in his fucking life. And I thought farming was stupid to begin with. So that's why I like about it. Now why... Like I said before. When it comes to story plot and move that, that. There's a lot of perverted... Perverted stuff. Which is fucking ridiculous. Because they're country pumpkins. And the fact that the girl with the pink hair has the biggest boobs of them all. Not the teacher. Um... I didn't mention the teacher because of the... Well, well, might as well introduce the teacher. The teacher is a person who wants to get married, but she, sedu but she flirts with her fucking students, and she wants to get them laid so that she can like, get pregnant, so that she can fucking marry them. This is fucking weird, man. What the fuck is wrong with these fucking people in these fucking classrooms? Um, let's see. You got also, you also got a fucking student who, who, gets, who scams the fuck out of people. Because she's a fucking weirdo. And the fact that she likes to make money most of the time. And when she gets caught, she gets fucking suspended. Okay, okay. Now then, you got the scientist who thinks that she's a fucking G and stuff like that. And that's that. Then you also got Mr. Jackass. Um, and you also got the log person who just wants women in this fucking club. Which makes no fucking sense. They're log people. They climb trees and come down, I believe. That... That is a dangerous job, if I do say so myself. I think it's the most dangerous job because pe if people, you if you get injured, you're pretty much fucking screwed. Um, but yeah, you'll learn a lot about how the countryside is working, and that's why I put this on the list. Um, I think it, I think the farming aspect of it makes it further on and stuff, and the comedy is really fucking good too. And, and, it depends if you have a like a dirty mindset. I mean, because most of the jokes are fucking, fucking like dirty jokes and stuff, and I don't fucking get why, but whatever. There's also a scene where they um, uh, I think it's like in the third or second episode where the 
Idol starts to um uh, try to clean out the kid chicken coop, and she decides to get him food. Cockroaches come up here, come flying around. She starts stomping on them, and it's pretty fucking funny because the fact of the matter is they censor the cockroaches when she steps on them, which is fucking funny. And everyone's freaking the fuck out. It's like, how the fuck is she doing this? Uh, because it's pretty fucking dope. Um, so yeah. Uh, so that's why it's at number number 44 it deserves to be on the list because it teaches you how to farm um i'll tell you this much and it gives me a lot of respect for farmers too because i i'm not a big person i don't want to farm i refuse to farm but it deserves to be on the list because it's farming when it comes to now then when it comes to um uh, underground anime like under anime there's not a lot more on the list i say to myself but to be honest with you we're moving into the next anime, which should be an interesting one. Um, and I'll, I'm probably going to get a lot of hatred towards it because I think it's probably one of the... Spoiler alert, the next anime is a sports anime. So I hope you guys have a nice, positive day and take care. Stay frosty, everyone.